This is how you ultimately deliver an exceptional client experience, an experience where you can communicate with your clients at all times without wasting their time and yours in meetings just to catch up on the progress of a project or sending emails. So if your clients want to know how the project is coming along, they can easily go to the project here and check the project's progress bar and the tasks that are yet to be. My clients are using this Notion system to offer a premium experience to their high ticket agency clients. Now the entire reason this portal was created was to reduce the amount of meetings you and your clients have when working together, hopefully eliminate the never ending back and forth emails that clearly everyone has time for massively decrease customer complaints or the equal opposite, which is increased customer satisfaction. And the most important one of all, spend less time doing admin work and more time focusing on your craft, what you truly signed up for, the work that actually fulfills you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage and track client projects, how to create tasks that actually move the needle forward for your projects, eliminate back and forth emails, and only have meetings when they are absolutely necessary. With that being said, let's get this show on the road. So the first thing you're going to see when you open up the client portal is the chat room. So if you click on this button here, you will see that you have the chat room right here. Now, this is what's going to eliminate all of the back and forth emails and the meetings that could have easily been a single email or a text message, but weren't. The purpose of this chat room is to keep the communication between you and your clients async. So whenever they have a question about anything, you can use this chat to hold those types of conversations. In order to open up the comment section, the only thing you need to do is hover over the icon here and you will see add comments. So what you'll do here is the first message that I always send to all my clients is welcome to your portal. And then I do their name. And then I write whatever the welcome message is going to be. Once I do that, I click enter and it'll upload the comment right there. And then when you close the chat room and then you open it back up, it'll always have the comment section open. Now, the crazy thing about this chat room is that it completely eliminates the need for using Slack. One of my clients literally told me they canceled their Slack subscription because they're now using this chat room to communicate with all of their clients. What's also great about this chat room or this portal is that you can always have access to it from your phone. If you download the Notion app, you can obviously access all of your client portals and communicate with your clients, regardless if you're on your desk or on your way to the Caribbean, you will always have access access to it as long as you have the app on your phone, the Notion app. Another key component to eliminating meetings, and to me, this has been a revelation for my business, and that is to use Loom. Sending Loom videos has allowed me and my clients to visually explain things without the need to jump on a meeting to show something that could have easily been recorded and sent over to the client for them to see on their own time and vice versa. Now on the chat room here, I rarely ever use Loom videos except for the client portal overview video or the walkthrough video, and I always add it right here. As you can see, when you click on this, you can either embed a link or you upload a file right there. But usually what I do is I just paste the Loom video right there. Another way you can do this is by clicking on this plus icon here, and then you type in slash Loom. And then that is also going to allow you to just embed a Loom video. So maybe that is a better way of doing it. But in the event that you don't use Loom and you use something else, you can also embed a link from whatever the source is. Now, the reason why I always have the Loom video underneath the comment section, instead of just having the Loom link right there, I always have it underneath the comment section because if they ever need to ask me any questions regarding how to use the portal or any service related questions, they are always going to be able to access the video right here. So it doesn't matter how long this comment section is, the portal walkthrough is always going to be visible. I usually add a frequently asked questions section underneath the portal walkthrough or underneath the comment section, just so your clients can have their common questions answered. Now, the other way I like to use Loom videos is by going to the project level. So if we go over here to where it says projects, actually, let me just zoom in a little here. When you go over to the project section, let's say that you're just going to start a new project for a client. Every project that you create is going to have a comment section just like the portal, only that the conversations that happen here are going to be exclusive 
to the project itself. So if you need to explain something like a general overview of this project, then you can go ahead and add the Loom video right there for them to watch. Now, if you're going to explain something about a task related to this project, make the Loom property visible here and then add the link right there so you can see it, right? So usually what I like to do is I like to have this as a full screen and make this full width. And then you'll be able to manage the project here with all the tasks that look a lot better organized this way. All right. In order to create tasks that actually move the needle forward for the project, you need to avoid vague tasks. I see this from time and time again, and it drives me crazy. But if you're assigning a task to a team member or a contractor or even a client, writing something like fix website issue is not going to work because it doesn't specify what part of the website needs to be fixed. On the other hand, if you write something like check and resolve broken links on the hero section of the homepage, let me just drag this out a little so it looks more aesthetically pleasing, if you will. That is a specific, measurable and easy task to act on. If you thought you couldn't run a business without meetings, you most definitely can. You just need to have the systems that eliminate the need to have meetings in the first place. This is how you ultimately deliver an exceptional client experience, an experience where you can communicate with your clients at all times without wasting their time and yours in meetings just to catch up on the progress of a project or sending emails. So if your clients want to know how the project is coming along, they can easily go to the project here. And let me just add a couple more tasks here and complete these, they can easily check the project's progress bar and the tasks that are yet to be completed. Now, the key to any successful service business is getting clients to continue booking projects with you every single month. If you want to learn how to get clients to continue booking more projects with you after the first project is finished, watch this video here.